By now, we are pretty sure that even those who have been barely keeping up with what is happening in Manipur are aware of the term separate administration. It is a term that is nearly as old as the conflict itself and is just one of the many topics that have created a deep divide between the Metes and the Cookies. But beyond the term, what does one actually mean by separate administration? Who controls it? Who does not have a say in it? How does it function in a region laid to waste through a conflict? And last but not least, how exactly will it make things any different? In this week's Decoded, we will look at understanding and explaining how a separate administration will work, if at all, it becomes a reality. Twenty twenty two. What a wonderful year it was. Covid was over. We were beginning to return to normalcy and for the BJP, well, what more could you ask for? Mete leaders campaigning for Nagas and Cookies. Cookies and Nagas welcoming Mete leaders and together all welcoming the trailblazing leadership of who else but N. Biren Singh. Cookie leaders might act like they have never spoken to Mete leaders and vice versa. But oh, during the festival of democracy, all were comrades in arms. After all, no matter what people say, elections are a multi-million dollar affair and what better than money to bring leaders together. But even before, as a documentary on the issue had shown, points of difference between the hills and the valley may have come down but they had never ceased to exist. In fact, the whole go to hills 1.0 and 2.0 was precisely an attempt to address the same. Even before the conflict, it did not take elaborate research to understand that even though Manipur was hardly a prosperous and developed story, the Imphal Valley was more developed than the hill regions. Now, it is almost never the case that a state's capital is less developed than the rest of the state, right? Guwahati will be more developed than Jorhat or Silchar, just as Kohima will be more developed than, say, Tizit. This is how India works, but this goes beyond hospitals, educational facilities, employment and of course, political power. In all these categories, the valley trumped the hills. And hill leaders, whether Naga or Kuki or any other community, made their stance clear time and again. And oh, since we are talking about 2022, life in several regions of Manipur was thrown out of gear following the demand for tabling the Hill Areas Committee recommended draft Autonomous District Councils or the ADCs Amendment Bill 2021 which sought greater financial and administrative autonomy in the Hill region. So yeah, even last year the demand for more autonomy was not welcomed with open arms. Demanding something is easy. It is as simple as saying we want. Look at me, I am demanding a salary hike every six months but does it mean the editor-in-chief pays attention to it? Of course not. Now, I'm not trying to diminish the demand of the cookie Zomi community. They have made their stance clear. Separate administration is the solution. But a solution to what? I ask, discrimination, unequal development, equal rights. The cookie allege that they have been sidelined in the state where the Metes hold all the power. But if that is the case, how will a separate administration help? Geography does not give a flying about your demands. Are those advocating for separate administration saying that within the nation that is India, a valley is adjoining hills, will have no flow of power from the valley? It will not work. Here's why. Have you forgotten that Manipur witnessed elections last year? What happens to the MLAs who have to work with the capital? What about the dozens of government offices that are meant for the whole state? Allow me to explain. Kuki leaders, who by the way are still cabinet ministers, spend their time in their constituency and the state capital. What will they do if a separate administration comes into force? They will still be Manipur MLAs, right? Let us say that the separate administration takes the shape of an autonomous district council. One, an autonomous district council is, well, toothless without the state government's support, which brings back the same problems that exist. If you have kept peace with how various autonomous councils are faring right now, you are also aware that they have proven to be mostly ineffective, inefficient and above all, absolutely corrupt. 
from the Chakma Autonomous Council where the CEM changes more than the seasons to Garo Hills Autonomous Council where employee salary sounds less than a promise and more like a dream. Our autonomous councils could have been so much more and yet they are nothing more than major disappointments. Some people have said that the separate administration will look more like a union territory again. Sorry to burst your bubble, but how will a union territory take shape while the legislative assembly is in place? And you think your leaders will accept the changes? They have spent crores to win elections and if they wish to come back to power, they need the valley leaders' support to do so. I cannot even begin to imagine the kind of anger that will sweep Imphal in and the rest of the valley if a separate administration comes into shape. The overwhelming majority of Metes have made their stance clear. No separate administration. Are they correct? To be honest, it does not matter. Why will the state government take a step that will alienate the majority? And before you say, the centre can do so without the state government, have you forgotten who is in charge in both the state and centre? Do you think the central leadership will say, no, we don't care about 40 Mete MLAs and their demands because the 10 odd cookie MLAs are correct? How will a separate administration work if the valley is not peaceful? Now, several Kuki leaders we have spoken to have made it clear that the Kukis who left Imphal have left for good. They are not going to return. But if there is any chance of them returning, that too will be extinguished if a separate administration comes into force. And oh, what about the Metis of Churachanpur? Will they ever return and what happens to the chances of them returning if a separate administration comes into place? First, kudos to the Naga community for mostly staying away from the conflict, even though they too have felt the impact of the violence. But in the past few days, it has become increasingly clear that the Naga leaders do not see eye to eye with Kuki leadership. The United Naga Council is now rivaling Meite leadership when it comes to attacking Kuki leadership. Now, do you think Nagas will react if, let us say, the Kuki demands are accepted? Naga Manipuris have been asking for greater autonomy too, remember? They came out strongly in support of the ADC bill too, right? If there is one community that has ambitions of one community, one land, it is the Nagas. Even on the Naga Independence Day, the Naga leadership made it clear that their demand for a Naga state was not a request, it was a demand. The Nagas are far ahead of any community when it comes to fighting for their demand. Yet, seven decades on, they are still nowhere close to achieving their dreams. No offence, it may never happen also, but that is not for me to comment on. The point is, as we have seen in time and again, making a demand is not the acceptance of demand. And I'm not even going to get started on what will happen to the NRC demand in Manipur, which, by the way, both Naga and Meite leadership have strongly supported. Do you think that demand will just be forgotten? A separate administration, even in theory, is not going to solve the absolute chaos that is Manipur right now. As we record this, farmers, the backbone of Manipur's economy, are being fired at for simply trying not to starve. Separate administration is unlikely to ensure justice for the victims, but it surely will end any chance that the communities have of coexistence, if coexistence is the idea at all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.